Now this problem is related to energy conservation in rotational motion. Let us try this problem. So to what height will it climb up the curved part? So we have been given a track. This part of track is horizontal and some part is curved. we have to find height that can be reached by this disk. This disk is in pure rolling so its question says disk is set in pure rolling this means point of contact will have zero velocity. So this is moving with velocity v and rotating with angular velocity omega. So point of contact will have two velocity, one due to rotation, another due to translation. Since point of contact is in rest, we can write V is equals to omega r. Now if friction is acting at point of contact, either in this direction or in this direction, any direction is possible. Friction will not do any work. And this can be proved power loss due to friction. This is equals to F dot V velocity is 0 so power loss due to friction is 0 so this means we can apply energy conservation let us say this is situation number 1 and this is situation number 2. So we can write total energy at position 1 this line is reference line This means we can ignore potential energy at position 1. So potential energy is 0. We will have kinetic energy. There are two kind of kinetic energy translational plus rotational. And rotational is half i omega square. For this I is 1 by 2 m r square, r is the radius of disk and omega is v by r. So we can write So R square cancels
so this is 3 by 4 mb square so initial total energy 3 by 4 mb square now let us find final total energy that is situation number 2 Now since this is maximum height at this point velocity should be 0 otherwise if velocity is not 0 then it will go some more height so in that case it is not the maximum height so at maximum height velocity will be 0 at maximum height velocity is 0 So kinetic energy is 0. Potential energy is mgh because height from the reference is h. So this height is h. So we can equate these two energy. So total energy will become mgh. So now if I apply energy conservation mgh is equals to 3 by 4 mb square if velocity is given then we can find h So this is the height reached by the disk. In this problem we have only one important point that if in case of pure rolling friction does not do any work so we can apply energy conservation. So important point we have and energy remains conserved.